When many countries, including Muslim nations, typically only vocally boycott Israeli products, Bolivia, a South American country, unexpectedly emerged with a declaration that it had severed diplomatic relations with Israel. The Israeli embassy in Bolivia was closed in response to its attack on Gaza as a gesture of respect for life. This made Bolivia the first country to take such a diplomatic action. However, how strong is Bolivia's military to take such a bold step? Are they not afraid of Israel's allies? Let's explore together. From the 15th to the early 16th century, Bolivia was once the center of the ancient Tiwanaku Kingdom, which was part of the Inca Empire. Following the arrival of the conquistadors from the Spanish colony, Bolivia was incorporated into the Viceroyalty of Peru and became part of the Spanish Empire, known as Alto Peru, or Upper Peru, until the early 19th century. During this time, Alto Peru provided Spain with immense wealth in the form of silver. Realizing this, Bolivia embarked on a journey towards independence through the War of Independence, led by revolutionary figures like Simon Bolivar and Antonio José de Sucre. Finally, Bolivia proclaimed its independence on August 6, 1825, becoming an independent nation. It was during this period that the Bolivian military was formed, initially consisting of revolutionary troops who fought for independence. After independence, they were involved in various regional conflicts, including the War of Cusco, 1835 to 1839, against Peru. In the early 20th century, President José Manuel Pando played a significant role in modernizing the Bolivian military. They adopted a military doctrine based on the Prussian military of Germany, emphasizing professionalism and discipline. Throughout the 20th century, Bolivia was involved in several military conflicts, one of them being the Chaco War, 1932 to 1935, against Paraguay, which sought to control the northern part of the Gran Chaco region in South America, believed to be rich in oil. Although the war ended with Paraguay controlling most of the Gran Chaco territory, it had a significant impact on the development of the Bolivian military. The modernization of Bolivia's military continued with the introduction of new technology and equipment through assistance from other countries, including diplomatic relations and cooperation in various fields with Russia. Russia even planned to build Russian aircraft facilities at a former U.S. base near the city of Chimore in central Bolivia. Additionally, Bolivia has shown political support for Palestine, having severed diplomatic relations with Israel in 2009 during the conflict in the Gaza Strip, and they have recently repeated this action. However, Bolivia has not been entirely without internal conflict. The country experienced a political crisis in 2019, which involved the resignation of President Evo Morales following allegations of election fraud. This led to a military coup and subsequent political instability. To address this crisis, Bolivia took several steps that eventually restored political stability. Key stakeholders, including the interim government and opposition parties, sought dialogue and reconciliation. These efforts were crucial in rebuilding trust and stability among the populace. The Organization of American States also supported Bolivia to ensure that the democratization process and elections were transparent and fair. As of 2023, Bolivia ranks 77th out of 145 countries with a PWR index asterisk score of 1.4339. And their defense budget for the year is $476,970,000. Out of a total population of 12,054,379 people, Bolivia trains at least 60,000 active military personnel each year and maintains a reserve force of 40,000 people. This brings their total estimated war mass strength to around 100,000 personnel distributed across the Army, Air Force, and Navy. 
Despite being a landlocked country, Bolivia still maintains a naval force, known as the River and Lake Force, or Forza Fluvial, Hui La Custra. The Bolivian army consists of 55,000 personnel with a total fleet of 1,070 units. Bolivia has 54 SK-105 Kurasir tanks, light tanks made in Austria weighing 17.7 .7 tons, first produced in 1971 and specifically designed for mountainous terrain. Due to their light weight, the SK-105 tanks can be transported by C-130 Hercules aircraft. These tanks are equipped with a 105mm main gun, providing effective firepower against light to medium targets. In addition, the Bolivian army relies on 24 EE-9 Cascavel reconnaissance vehicles made in Brazil. More details about other military vehicles and weaponry can be viewed in the accompanying table. The Bolivian Navy, as mentioned earlier, was intentionally formed in 1963, despite the country being landlocked. It functions primarily as a river and lake defense force. This is due to Bolivia's possession of major rivers, which are tributaries of the Amazon, requiring surveillance to prevent smuggling and drug trafficking. Some of these forces are also stationed at Lake Titicaca, the world's highest navigable lake, which crosses the border with Peru. Currently, the Bolivian Navy consists of only 500 personnel, a significant reduction from around 5,000 personnel in 2008. They are equipped with up to 173 vessels, many of which are stationed at Lake Titicaca. Among these are various patrol boats, including the American-made Santa Cruz de la Sierra, the Chinese-made Capitan Bretel Type 928YC, and the Boston Whaler Piranha LP. Additionally, the Navy operates a utility aircraft, the American-made Cessna 340. This light twin-engine business aircraft is designed to accommodate about five passengers and is categorized as a two-piston engine plane. The Cessna 340 features a distinctive low-wing design and body shape, and offers good performance in terms of speed and range. The Bolivian Air Force, meanwhile, has a fleet of 64 units with around 22,000 personnel. Their collection includes 14 transport aircraft, 20 trainers, and 28 helicopters. Currently, the Air Force relies on reconnaissance aircraft such as the American-made Learjet 35 and the Chinese-made K-8 Karakoram. In the future, they plan to acquire the Chinese-made L-15, the Italian-made M-346, the South Korean-made T-50, and the Russian-made Yak-130. In addition, the Bolivian military has four Special Forces units. The first is the 12th Rangers Regiment, known as Manchego, based in Montero, renowned for their combat skills, mobility, and ability to operate in various environments. The second is the 16th Infantry Regiment, known as Jordan, in Riberalta. Then there's the 18th Parachute Infantry Regiment, Victoria, based in Cochabamba a parachute unit typically trained for airborne landing operations and other special tasks. Lastly, the 24th Forest Guard Regiment Mendez Arcos in Calapata focuses on combat in mountainous or harsh environments. Mm -hmm.